this is very curious. Um, we had the bike turned off and disconnected. Um, the battery module is unplugged completely. Uh, the power was off. The pre-charge circuit was off. There should have been absolutely no possible shorting in the system whatsoever. And uh, we kicked it down off of the stand. Heard a slight pop from the front end of the bike. That's what it sounded like to me. It didn't, it didn't sound like the front end of the bike to you. And um, so we popped open the lid on the of the battery box or the, the, the switch box, which is the seat. Verified that uh, switches were off. And then as we we're doing that, we noticed that one of the cells decided to uh, vent. And I started turning on the camera for that. And you can see there's quite a bit of smoke. It appears to be contained primarily to one single cell. But the pack is disconnected and is continuing to uh, to vent. That is an odd aroma. Sweet. It's kind of a sweet smell. Yeah. I wonder if that's getting into the acrylic. I have no idea what it does to acrylic. Maybe I could have bumped the recharge circuit? It was off. I could have bumped it when I... It was off. I mean the switch. It's not a momentary switch. If you would have bumped it, it should have stayed. Oh, okay. Drip something on the tire. Yeah. Can't tell if it's the acrylic though or not. <sighs> no, it looks like liquid from the cell. It's kind of dripped over that way because it's inclined towards the back. Wow. Holy cow. Can't see it very well here, but this cell next to that, or is it that one that's, okay, that is that one. It's completely melted the uh, plastic block that holds it in place. Wow. I tested all these cells before I put them in here mm -hmm. <clears throat> for voltage. And they were all well above three volts. So this was not, to my, I don't believe this was from a cell going to zero for any particular reason. It's kind of hard to see all the glare. And there is a fuse embedded inside of this battery pack. And the fuse is in that cavity right next to that cell. But we had virtually essentially no current going through there.